Hi everybody, this is Joe over at Synergy17. Um, I saw a request for how to trace a bitmap and I'm not going to get really really deep involved on it but I'll just show you um, how to do it in general. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a bitmap. Um, I'll bring in a Ghostbusters GIF file that I found online. So if I go to wireframe, as you can see, it's a GIF. Or actually, it's a bitmap, so uh, there's no uh, vector lines. Um, some people are really good at using some of the uh, Bezier curves and stuff. You can actually redraw this whole thing. But if you want the quick and dirty way to do it, you could basically do it this way. So you select your bitmap, go to bitmap, go to outline trace, go to detailed logo, and you'll see it do some work down here. And what happens is uh, the types of images like uh, line art logo, all these things really um, control the details of smoothing and some of this other information here. And you can read more about it under the help file about what this does. Um, if I didn't want this background, I could say remove background and choose the color. And it'll remove the background. Uh, I want to keep the background though. Um, you can do, if these were overlapping uh, things, you can remove that by, uh, or actually right now it already does, kind of like does a trim already. Uh, colors, as you can tell, I mean it looks like it's only three colors, black, red, and white. But if I look here, or actually look here, it says there's nine colors. If I click on the colors, you can see that this black right here is this background, this red is this section, this red is this section, this red is this little tiny piece, and then all these different shades of black. You know, you can see uh, here's a little piece here, a little piece in the mouth, and <clears throat> I can actually tell it right here. There's only three colors if I'd like. If I do that, it'll it'll try to go through and do the best guess at what the three are. So here's the black, here's the white, and here's the red. So um, it's usually pretty good at guessing that, but you can force it. In case I had a little red spot that was way different, it would try to merge it. Right, I'm going to go back to nine colors again. You can actually say, I want to take this red, hold control, click this red and this red, and say merge, and it'll balance them out to all one red. I could choose to do the same thing, hold, hold control, choose that black, that black, that black, and then that one, and say merge. It'll make them all one black. So um, you could do things like that. And anyways, once you have all your settings done, just hit OK, and you're going to have this right here I'm gonna hit wireframe now and as you can see this is the vector version of this and of course you can ungroup uh, change your colors you know like this red here and this I can make it orange uh, I can make the black uh, I could you know group all these different pieces you know if it's eyeballs and stuff I can change that blue I can do whatever whoops forgot to select that one and that one that one that one there um, so anyways, it's it's pretty easy. You just basically click the bitmap, go to outline trace, and just choose one of these options. I chose detail logo, but you can choose anything you want. That's it.